Coming into the season, the Yankees had a number of high-end hitting prospects littered throughout the minor league system. At every level, there were players to follow, players that could fill up a box score. Some, like Gary Sanchez, Aaron Judge, and Tyler Austin, graduated to the majors by August. Others remained in the minors, but had excellent seasons. Let's take a look at some of the storylines that developed around hitters in the Yankees farm system this year. Leading off is the biggest storyline, the influx of high-end hitting talent that was inserted into the system via trade, led by the new top two Yankee prospects, outfielder Clint Frazier and shortstop Labor Torres. Frazier was acquired in the Andrew Miller trade and Torres in the trade for Aroldis Chapman. Both players rank among the top 20 prospects in all of baseball, and Frazier could break into the major leagues in 2017. The Yankees also acquired 2013 first-rounder Billy McKinney in the Chapman trade and outfielder Tito Polo from Pittsburgh in the Ivan Nova trade, adding to the system's hitting depth. Moving to the players who began the year in the system, Trenton had two prospects with very strong seasons, shortstop Tyler Wade and outfielder Dustin Fowler. Wade is the team's number 14 prospect, and he hit 259 with a 701 OPS, leading off all season for the Thunder. Fowler dazzled in the second half of the season, finishing with a solid 770 OPS with 30 doubles, 15 triples, 12 home runs, and 25 steals. Talk about a full stat line. Looking next at Haye, former top overall prospect Jorge Mateo had an up and down season, starting hot, but tailing off near the end. His teammate Miguel Andujar was outstanding in the first 58 games and was promoted to Trenton, replaced by infielder Tyro Estrada, one of the more unheralded prospects in the system, who also had a great year, hitting 292 in 83 games in Tampa. In low A Charleston, some lesser known prospects impressed. 2015 first rounder Kyle Holder continued to be an elite defender at shortstop and was red hot to end the year, finishing the season with a 290 batting average. His partner at short and second was Hoi Jun Park, the Yankees' number 21 overall prospect. Park was the only player in the minor leagues with at least 15 doubles, 10 triples, 30 steals, and 60 walks. He's a name to watch next year. Following the draft, a number of high-end prospects debuted in short season ball. 2016 first-round pick Blake Rutherford was electric in Pulaski, hitting 382 with seven doubles, four triples, and two homers in just 25 games. The Yankees' number 11 prospect, shortstop Wilkerman Garcia, made his short season debut, and catcher Donnie Sands, a 2015 eighth round pick, hit 316 games. In Staten Island, second rounder Nick Solak was one of the best batters in the league, hitting 321 with 13 doubles, three homers, and an 833 OPS. In the end, it was a very productive season for Yankees minor league hitters. The system is deep with position players, and the top five overall prospects are all hitters. There's a number of future major leaguers in the bunch, and we've already seen some make an impact in the Bronx. Plenty of players will be worth following in 2017. For Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T, I'm Justin Shackle. You can see more Yankees On Demand and scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right here.